Welcome to support videos for workload automation video series. In this video, I'll show you how to change a default calendar name used by Control M for ZOS and how data sets are dynamically allocated within the products. This demonstration will show you how to change the default calendar name used by Control M for ZOS. The same process can be used for any dynamically allocated dataset name used in the InControl mainframe products. At installation time, a calendar dataset is created with some default calendar members. Going forward, you may want to create your own calendar file and use this new calendar file when upgrading to new versions of the software. Many of the datasets allocated by Control-M are dynamically allocated so I'll also show you how the allocation of this works and in particular for the calendar file. So let's firstly see how Control-M determines the name of its calendar file. The first thing we'll do is to enter the IOA primary menu and issue the TSO ISR DDN command. And here we can see under DA Cal, the default dataset name is BMC IOA.CV190I .opr.cal. So let's see how this is determined. The first thing you need to do is to browse member IOA DSN in the IOA EMV library. And then perform a find on DACAL. And here we can see the definition for the calendar file. The SEQ file is used when you may want to concatenate more than one dataset name to a specific DD name. In the case of the calendar file, there is only one dataset allocated. You can find other examples of how to concatenate more than one dataset in this member. The DD name here is the value of the DD name allocated. And the DSN is a dataset name that's used for the calendar file. Note here that a symbolic is used. And to resolve this symbolic, you will need to browse member defpalm, which is located in the iwa.palm dataset. Then just search for OL Pref A. And you see it's here resolved to BMC IOA.CV190I.OPR. So if we now go back to the IOA EMV library again. We can see that the full dataset name is resolved to BMC IOA.CV190I.OPR.CAL. So now I'll show you how to how you can change the allocation for this dataset. First thing we need to do is to copy the definition for DACAL. We then go over back to the IOA.palm library. and edit member IOA DSNL. And paste in the definition that we just copied. Now all we need to do is change the dataset name to the new name of the calendar file that we want to use. And save the change. After making this change, you'll need to recycle any started tasks that use the calendar file and also exit and re-enter the ISPF interface. This change will also be taken into account with any batch jobs that are submitted from here onwards. So the last thing we're going to do is to re-invoke the ISPF interface again and issue the TSO ISRDDN command once more. And here we can now see that 
allocation of the calendar file has now changed to our new data set desired name. That concludes this video. That concludes this Control M Solutions video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube video channels for more videos like this.